this? Are those crickets? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Look, who's that? Right there. Right there. Go get him. <laughs> get him. Get him good. Yeah. Oh! He's trying, yeah. To, he's trying to get him. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Brianne. You can also call me Alco. In this video today, I am going to share with you my reasons for why I switched from the store-bought crib keepers to my own DIY crib keeper. If you want to find out, keep watching. All right, so one of the main reasons why I decided to switch over um, and make my own DIY crib keeper is well, because I needed a little bit more room for crickets. Crickets, a lot of people don't know this, is that they actually need a lot of space to like run around so they're not constantly on top of each other um, and um, running in their own feces and sometimes they even like fight with each other too and that can lead to like intentionally dead crickets that you can't feed your animal. Um, another reason is, is that like when I've had the store block cricket keeper, it I I kind of noticed that I would have crickets running around my house. Now, like not a lot, but here and there, I would find like one or two, maybe like in my living room or like in my basement somehow. And I was kind of thinking, I'm like, well, how the heck are they getting out of their cricket cage? Like, from the looks of it, like. It doesn't look like they could get out of this cage, and because there's there's little tiny holes. Um, I think on camera you can only see the, the lines going across, but there's also lines going um, diagonal as well to help make sure the crickets stay in the cage. But I did some digging online, and I actually found out that crickets are very much like mice. Uh, in the fact that they can squeeze through a hole that's like half their body size and it kind of dawned on me, I was like, holy crap, these don't hold crickets. Hmm. Um, actually, the person in the forum, I forget their name, but they were like, yeah, just honestly, if you want to find out like if your crick keeper is holding your crickets, put this in a larger Tupperware container and see if crickets are actually getting through the holes and jumping out. Um, I didn't have time to do that, so I, I kind of figured that, hey, they're not getting out of my chameleon's cage because, uh, chameleon's cage, because um, I cup feed my chameleon, so unless the cup is getting tipped over, they're not getting out. Um, I keep a very close eye on my crickets when I dump them into the cup, so I'm like, they're not getting out that way either, the only way I could think of them actually getting out is that the roof of the cricket keeper is a little bit, the holes are a little bit too big for the cricket still. So, um, I looked up online how to make your own cricket keeper and a lot of people are using Tupperware containers. Um, this is mine. I made it a few weeks ago, but I made it not as well as I probably could have made it. Um, I used one material that I probably shouldn't have used, and that material is a fiberglass screen. So at the time, I did not know that crickets will eat fiberglass um, screen um, screen mesh. So I'll show you a little clip of like what my screen used to look like before on my cricket cage. It says show it right here and what it did I, I put two layers on it just so in fact I was like okay I didn't want any crickets getting out I was, I was really paranoid and thank goodness I put two layers of the screen on because the crickets ate holes in my lid for my DIY cr cricket keeper um, luckily like I said since I had that second layer none of them actually ended up getting out but I caught it just in time where I am I'm going to switch out that material for aluminum. Aluminum. Ugh, I can't speak right now on it, honestly. Aluminum. Aluminum. Mesh. You get it. I'm so bad with words. 
Um, so anyways, what I did, I'm just going to show you a little clip of how I took that mesh off and I'm going to replace it with um, the new aluminum mesh and ideally, like I've read also that it's, that that's probably the best kind of mesh you could get um, just because crickets can't um, sink their teeth into it. It's a lot harder um, to actually eat a hole through. But other than that too, like I really, I can house a lot more crickets in my DIY Cricket Keeper. Um, you see, literally, it's like a, a box from Walmart. I just cut off the top um, with a knife, and I hot glue gun some mesh into it. So what I initially have in here is I have my water dish and the food dish that's kind of being covered right now. Um, I just chuck a few oranges in there to also keep the cr crickets hydrated. And I also do have a, a lot of cardboard in there right now. Um, I do need to clean it though soon, it's like getting a little dirty. Um, another up note of this DIY Cree Keeper is that I find that it keeps a little bit of the smell down. If you <laughs> if you have ever owned crickets and used this thing, your room probably smells, or like wherever you're keeping it, it puts off a really potent smell. Um, whereas in this one, I find that since the walls are a little bit higher and it and away from like the mesh top that it kind of like keeps the smell in a little bit. I don't have to do, well obviously I have to do, still do my regular cleaning, but um, it's not that noticeable of a smell, which is a big upside for me because I sleep right there. Um, other than that too, I would love to hear your thoughts on um, these store-bought Cricut Keepers as well and if you've had similar experiences um, to me where your crickets are getting loose and you don't exactly know why or where they're coming from. Um, so if this video taught you something about um, these store-bought Cricut Keepers or my DIY Cricut Keeper, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, I am still trying to reach that 1,000 subscribers goal to keep myself into the YouTube partnership program. Um, so if we can make that happen, I would love, love, love if we could do that. Um, other than that, like I said, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below your experiences on these Cricut Keepers or on your own DIY Cricut Keeper or if you have any suggestions that I could add to my um, DIY Cricut Keeper. I'm always here to listen, um, to do more research and to add to the healthy longevity of my reptiles and my um, my reptiles and my crickets. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!